Talks is a series of interviews that I'm doing with toppers from Repronit Learning in the exam FET 2022, which was held in January and the result was declared on 7th March. So today we have got with us the very talented Dr. Anju Nair, who has secured a fabulous 13th rank, All India rank of 13 in this exam. So welcome Dr. Anju. Uh, this interview is for you to discuss with us your background and your strategy to prepare for this exam. Uh, many congratulations, Dr. Anju, first of all, for this wonderful performance. And then over to you, let's Thanks discuss lot, with you. Let's discuss what was your strategy. So start with your background. Where did you do your UG and PG from? Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, first, a word of thanks to you and the recruiting learning. Uh, basically, I did my undergraduation from Usmania Medical College, Hyderabad, 2004 batch and a post-graduation from uh, Trivandrum Medical College, 2012. And I finished my post-graduation in 2015. Okay. And then one year of senior residency uh, was done in 2018. In between, I had maternity leave and I got two kids. Okay. So I gave a gap, gap in between also. All right. And then you came back to prepare for FNB. Wonderful. Yes, ma'am. In between, actually... Uh, Let's discuss this whole journey from PG to leaving all studies to have two children and then again getting back to studies. Let's yes, ma'am. It was a, actually a very tough time for me because uh, uh, having a family life, then having a dedicated uh, uh, time of hours of studying is a, uh, a tough thing, actually. Yes. I mean, we have got our own uh, clinic also. So I used to manage, I used to help my husband also in that. And I was doing a uh, GP in Trivandrum itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, since I think 2020, uh, I started, uh, like I had a, a wish of uh, getting into a super speciality. Uh, since, uh, but I was uh, giving a new super speciality and FET exam since then uh, without much preparation. Uh, then finally, in last year, I just came to know about this course of recruitment learning. And uh, for the first time, I purchased one month course. Uh, and then I felt that, uh, okay, uh, it's it's really comfortable and I think I can do it. And then I took the one year course. Okay. So how did you come to know about the course? Ma'am, from other students who came for the exam, actually. Oh, okay. So you asked them. Uh, wonderful. So one year ago, you started your preparation seriously. We can say that. Uh, yes, I started. Like, uh, I was just wandering here and there, trying to get knowledge from people around, like how to prepare. I was giving exams, uh, uh, not much preparing. Uh, so finally, after getting into this course, I really got an idea how to prepare. Okay. So, so before I taking the course, what were your sources of studying? What were you reading before the course? Some randomly Ashray guidelines and uh, uh, big, big books like Spiro because I had no idea and uh, I used to go crazy like uh, reading all these big books and uh, not able to retain. So finally I left that, just gave yes, the exam. That is a problem because there are so many books for each uh, subspeciality. You have a book, you have Spirov, you have Varek and Hacker. So it's difficult exactly. to read for the exam and to remember everything. Right? Exactly. And more or less there was uh, nobody to guide properly actually, like how to prepare for exam and uh, like what and all to read, what and all to stress. So like I was uh, literally, I had a tough time, but finally, once I got into the course, I really got a clear picture how to read, especially from the recall and also from listening to the toppers who already gained uh, rank before. So I got a clear idea of how to prepare. Yes. These interviews are always important. They are an asset that I have all the interviews of the last years. Even I learn from the students what they tell me that we read this, we read that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Seriously. So, how was uh, how much time would you spend in reading in the last one year? Yeah, actually, ma'am, uh, because uh, since last one year the, uh, the exam patterns were unpredictable. We were expecting the dates, uh, tentative dates, they were in July, and uh, always meet as an FET uh, comes uh, back to back. So, actually, uh, I was mainly into FET, but uh, I was preparing for both. Because I thought both will be uh, in near date, but finally uh, only need super specialty date has uh, dates were announced and not FET. Uh, so uh, by around June, July, I started my preparation. Uh, 
uh, I could, uh, I was only preparing with Reproneed course, that's all. No other books I could, uh, I could touch. So two months of preparation, I gave me super speciality. Uh, but so I, uh, I then I after- stop you there. How many hours would you study in these two months in June and July? Because you were practicing, you have two babies. Yes, you have your own hospital. Yeah, uh, around the five to six hours a day, uh, so I could manage. You would manage yeah. five to six hours in those two months. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. That's great. So you did reprenate learning course in the uh, two months sincerely. And then you gave the NEET SS exam. So how was the result there? Yeah, I got around the 54 rank, ma'am. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, maybe I could uh, recollect what are the mistakes I did, uh, where were uh, my pitfalls. So I just corrected that. And uh, I thought, so I should uh, get into uh, big bo- for uh, uh, repro- uh, reproductive medicine and oncology. Uh, I was very much confident with uh, reproductive learning. I thought uh, the off part I make a little bit strong because uh, I um, uh, read the Williams and all long way back. So I thought I should give a fresh reading to Williams as well, and also MCQs from Sachi Arora. So I started uh, with it. Tw- I I put a course of around twenty days. I just brushed up the new 26th edition Williams because it has come since yes, just last there were year. Many new things and, and it yes, was in, uh, in the we had uh, some uh, diagrams and all from directly from the uh, Williams uh, textbook. Yes. So yes. I just uh, gave a brush, uh, br- uh, rap- fast reading to this uh, Williams latest edition map. Uh, then uh, MCQs from Sarshi Arora. And then I could revise uh, Reproduce Learning almost uh, three to four times. Okay, wonderful. So last two months from uh, Feb, that is December and January, was my uh, uh, serious learning, actually. Okay. So December and January, how many hours would you devote to reading? Um, last uh, two months, around uh, 10 hours a day, I yes. could uh, uh, yeah, dedicate to uh, teaching. Because otherwise, with family and kids, somehow the time would go. Uh, so I just uh, kept aside my practice a bit. Then so that I can concentrate on, because family, I just uh, uh, put it aside. So in your time, yes. So one small tip here uh, that I want to stress is before you start preparing Sakshi Aroda or a book, a PG book, PG MCQ book is very important to finish. You have to know everything in that book at least. If you have read, if you have done your PG recently, Sakshi Aroda doesn't take more than five to ten days to finish. Exactly, exactly, ma'am. Yes, you know all yes, the concepts, yes. you just have to, you know, know what kind of MCQs are asked. And those are basics, you at least have to know that. So this I used to tell in 2020 when I had started teaching that first finish Sakshi Aroda and then move on to the higher things. So you have to finish at least one PG question book and then you have to read books. So repetitive learning from the students, now I am getting that it is sufficient. And one book which students should read if they have to read is Williams Obstetrics because in the last two exams we have definitely seen directly yes, yes, definitely. from Williams Obstetrics. And out of yes, all ma'am. the big books, and after the out of all the big books, Williams Obstetrics is quite easy to manage. If you compare it to Spiroff definitely and Merrick and Hacker and even Novak, it is easier. The easiest big book is Williams, isn't it? Okay, so this is what I was saying. Williams obstetrics is quite easy to manage. It it looks thick because the pages are thick. Otherwise, it is. Yeah, you won't believe that actually big books. It takes time, but after uh, revising Reproneed, I just hardly took twenty days to just brush up the Williams, especially volume one. It was very important so that all the important points were not missed. Williams obstetrics has got two volumes now. Yes, ma'am. Twenty sixth edition has got two volumes. Okay, I only have soft copies, so I really don't know what kind of. Volume. Yeah, and I prefer learning some hard copies because yes. uh, I, I don't to make notes on computers, no? so I have to have soft copies only. So yes, I, yes, this yes. is the first time I heard that it has got two volumes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> when I was doing PG, it was only one big thick book, blue colored. Yes, book. ma'am. So I think twenty fourth and twenty fifth, but it is twenty sixth edition, two volume. Uh, but yes. after this, uh, it, it's all ACOG, no ma'am. So anyway, we are covering all this yes. in your uh, clinical topics is all they directly quote ACOG that ACOG says this ACOG says that for management part. That's why also it is easier to remember because most of the ACOG yes. guidelines we are doing in the classes. Yes, yes, ma'am, exactly. So did you separately read any guidelines? Ashri ACOG, RCOG. 
no ma'am uh, no no because uh, all this is given in your app itself so i just revised all your videos and then uh, all the guidelines which you gave in the app was more than enough and i have seen that from those guidelines also some questions were there so somehow i was managed to compile important guidelines yes ma'am yes ma'am especially exactly uh, all the latest guidelines from mr bharat uh, yeah. all those things anemia mukt bharat all those things which have uh, given for the, the last moment ma'am <laughs> really i, I was really don't want to teach those programs but this year i think i will have to they are asking too many yes, questions ma yes ma'am yes yes because recently in schools also uh, from uh, my kids were telling they, they were they were given the message that uh, we have to give albendazole or iron folic acid so definitely okay. i also was expecting i was expecting to find me about bharat okay so i'll have to stress on those national programs <laughs> yes ma'am so if i will not be able to i'll put these on the app so that you can read yourself yes ma'am and i think ma'am uh, recent advances and progresses i don't know few uh, questions from uh, um, asherman syndrome and all uh, grading of asherman so i don't even know from where is the source from and uh, so i think uh, recent advances and progresses uh, i'm not sure uh, but maybe should we touch those points also okay i have no idea but maybe that's why i am not re repeating all those chapters which i have already taken i am only taking new classes because exactly. that takes a lot of time to start teaching menstrual cycle again there's no point i have given a sufficient lecture there yes, so this year i am only uh, catching up on updates yes ma'am i think ma'am billions uh, about the extra points are there that could be added and uh, yes, that's all year, and that, that is also the focus i am taking uh, chapters from williams there's also a new book yes. called this one cunningham and gilstrap's operative obstetrics you must not have heard of but there are a lot of questions which matched from that textbook and williams keeps referring to cunningham and gilstrap so i have started teaching that also uh, there were questions on uterine inversion in the last few exams uterine inversion questions were there i think in neat ss it was there or pdcet some paper there were two three questions so that they have asked from that textbook anyway so i am not suggesting students to read that textbook because we'll be covering most of it whatever is important right so i don't uh, think this will add to our uh, ending extra ma'am because tough questions will be tough for everyone the yes. uh, mark getting points are uh, follow every tough topic you know you have yes, to skip some things like if they ask yes. a like, trial for neat ss or uh, for fet it is not worthwhile to spend so much time on memorizing trial so even if they ask yes, trial next year i will not suggest students to go after reading all the trial so some difficult questions are going to be there Yes, right. uh, ARD Basic ARD things like Abhishek scoring, Sarivan Galway yes. scoring, all those yes. things we routinely we forget, ma'am. But Tanner yes. scoring, Tanner scoring. So these are the things passing. which, if we don't study, we cannot and answer. ASRM also has asked in this exam. ASRM. Yeah. Yes, but I think, ma'am, they have uh, they have given one question in uh, one question is wrong, and they have given a uh, uh, add-on mark in uh, in our oh, uh, reflective yes. question. So I don't know which question is that because question. that question was really confusing. So in the website it is given in uh, reproductive medicine and uh, fetal med maternal fetal medicine one question is incorrect and they have given uh, okay. bonus mark. Most bonus marks to everyone. Okay, we'll keep figuring out which that question was. <laughs> we'll not be able to know. Anyway, so any tip that you would want to give to people who are preparing for the NEET SS exam and the FET exam? now like there are 6 months and one year to the paper yes ma'am surely uh, one thing is that uh, follow the course uh, to the core ma'am do uh, revise it as much as possible uh, minimum 3 to 4 times make your own notes and wherever you read whatever extra you just have a note on the side so that you can revise it last two weeks would be the time to revise it okay. so that when you have got notes of your own uh, you can revise it very easily wherever you are where working or you are traveling and all and uh, to the youngsters or who are fresh from the subject i think it's not a big tough time because they are all otherwise reading the big big books just they need to brush up or uh, just practice the mcq uh, but for the people who think they are old enough or uh, chalo we can't do it for them i think uh, let me have just two words nothing is impossible just if you can manage or keep aside your practice and family little bit aside uh neat ss or fet is uh, not a big deal just uh, we can follow this course and uh, have a proper schedule and you, uh, you can plan around uh, 10 to 
12 hours a day if you can plan within two months preparation we can crack the exam so two months i think a lot of people will be able to draw two months from their busy lives if they really want to crack this and yes. having the course gives you uh, you know a path what to follow in the con- uh, what to concisely read in these last two months so there is short time uh, the class is going to be very helpful yes ma'am definitely ma'am because if there is only two months or six months in your head you're all already busy in your practice and you want to give it a try then not having a way not having not having to know what is to be read is the first hurdle you have to overcome exactly. that where to, to, to start from where to start yes, from exactly ha huh. that is the confusing part yes so that and takes one year to figure out everything yes so at least i've given everything you just have to read it and it's still not very easy because you have to read you have to write and you have to revise three times still with you have to revise three times yes yeah. still with everything you need five to six hours of daily study if it has to be done in two to four months yes. right wonderful dr anju uh, it was wonderful speaking with you so you have got two kids yes ma'am seven and five year old oh. So they throw so tantrums all the times when I have to be with them. So it was a very very tough time and it's a challenging part. Uh, without we having a part time meet and all, but somehow, ma'am, uh, really your classes were so much motivated for me, and I'm really thankful for that. And if I could uh, help you anyway, if you have got a post of assistant, ma'am, please consider my application. I would like to become your assistant in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 